I'm looking at the testing code right here for my link list. I'm gonna jump back to my link list real quick so you can see we got a public string to string to method. It looks just like the regular to string, it just has a number two at the end. But we have a problem, we can't call the method. So why can't we call it? It all comes down to the way we declared list. So right here, we said the type is a list, not my linked list. So we declared it as a list, but instead of making new list, <clears throat> which we're not allowed to do because list is an interface, there's no code inside of list, we created a uh, my link list. You can do this anytime uh, this right here, this class or interface is a super class of what you actually create. Because what you create, if it subclasses list or implements list, it has all the methods that list has. And what that means is when you declare it as a list, you can only call methods that are of this type list. And two string two is not a method in the list interface. All right, so how do we fix this? There's a couple ways to do it. I know that the list is actually my link list that I wrote. So I know there's a two string two method hiding in here, but how do we use it? So one way to do it is we can cast my link uh, list to be my link list, but order of operations, we have to throw an extra parentheses so that list is cast to my link list before we call the two string two method. So this is one way to fix that problem. So again, I'm using the list, which is a list, but I'm telling Java, no, treat it like my linked list, which means I get any additional methods that I wrote inside my link list that didn't already exist in the list interface. So if I wrote any other methods that are public, I could call them using casting just like this. All right. Uh, oh, let's run it and see what we get. <clears throat> now, if you notice, I was expecting to see all four items in here, but I saw nothing. Why is that? Well, it's not because of my two string two method. This method actually should work. The reason is I never actually set previous to be anything else. Uh, so I've not updated my add and remove methods to uh, modify previous. So previous is always gonna be null until I modify my code in other places, which I don't wanna show in this video because that's the entire point of the lab. But I will show you one more way to call two string two with less stuff right here. So how we're gonna do it, I'm gonna use the list variable, but I'm gonna declare, so let me get that commented out. Instead of declaring list as list, I'm gonna declare the variable as my link list. Uh, now I believe you also wanna put, mm, I don't know if that's necessary. I forget which one is not necessary. Uh, I'll just leave it in both places, uh, but Java does let you shortcut. I think it lets you skip that one if you want to, but just to be safe, I'm gonna leave all, all the uh, parameters right in here. All right, so what I did here is that variable list is now my linked list. That's the type, which means I can call any method, any public method I want inside of my link list, so I can call the two string two method. As to which of those two ways should you do? Doesn't matter to me, you can do either way, whatever makes more sense. Uh, probably what you have here would be less typing, so it might be a little easier and more straightforward. Uh, just remember if you don't do the two string two, if you just uh, print out list, 
it'll by default call the regular toString method, which should be fully functional as long as your last lab was fully functional. So I see the right stuff in here. All right, one other uh, word of warning, the toString2, the way I've written it, it'll display things backwards because the first thing it's going to put in is the tail. And then next, it's going to put the previous. And then next, it'll put the previous uh, until it gets to the front. So it'll put it in the opposite order. Couple ways to fix that. If you really want to put it in the right order. So it's probably better to see it written like this right here. So result equals result plus. This is the exact same functionality as the plus equals. But what you can do is remove result from the beginning and add it to the end. And now I'll be putting uh, the thing before it in front of what it, or result. I think I need to put the comma in front too, but I don't have enough. I can't really test this out as to where the comma should be. So it looks pretty. Uh, result, I think you got to swap your end caps too, and then put that in front. I'm just freestyling here, so this may not work out perfectly, but you're basically going to build the result string from the back and then concatenate to the front of it. And at the very end, concatenate the front uh, square bracket and then return that concatenated string right there. So hopefully this two string two lets you check and see if your previous is set to what you actually think it's set to and see if it, it works the way it should.